Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to Epic Knowledge. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can upload data from the summer node text area field in Laravel. So you can see we have a text field over here like this and if we just paste anything over here, we can make it bold. We can also add image over here as well. Let me just choose the image. We can also make the image smaller, bigger. Then here let's just keep some more text over here and right now if we click add it will upload the data to the database table so in this tutorial i'm going to show you everything step by step from the very beginning how we can or how we can use summer node in laravel so over here i just already created a fresh laravel project as you can see so i let me just run it over here so this is the freshly created laravel project so what we'll do is that we'll have the input field summer node input field over here so for it, let's go back to our code and we'll go to resource, views and inside views we have welcome.blade.php. So I can just remove everything from here and we'll just over here HTML. So inside the head section, first of all, we need to add the summer node CDN link. So in order to get the summer node CDN link, let's just search for our here summer node.org. We'll just go to this link, summonnode.org, and then we'll just click over here, getting started. And then if we just go down, here we can see we have include j slash CSS. So let me just copy this code and I'll paste it in the head section of our code. And right now, we need to write a form for the body. So let me just go back to the browser again. And right now, if we just go to summonnode.org and over here, you can see form method post. And here you can see text area ID equal to summonnode name equal to edit, edit or data text area. So I'll copy this again and paste it over here in the body. So here name is not important, but the ID is important. Here you can see ID is summonnode. So right now, let me just copy one more thing from here and that is the javascript code from here so let me just copy this and right now we'll just write over here at the end of the body tag we'll write over here script and then inside the script we'll mention or paste the code over here so here you can see basically uh, let me just write it like this so basically uh, what is happening is that here you can see id equal to summon node and here we are measuring that id and then we are calling the summon function so this function will give us a text area like summon node so right now if we now save this and if we now refresh here here you can see we have a summon node text field over here so if you want to uh, change the design of this text field you can do it as well you just need to follow the step that is written over here like here you can see height equal to 100 we can change the text field height if you want so let me just copy this and here we'll just directly come over here someone not to first bracket here we'll give to second bracket and inside it we'll mention height will be let's say 300 or 400 let's say save then right now if we just refresh here here you can see the height increased over here so right now we can add a lot of text over here and then we will be able to upload those data to the database table so for it first of all let's also just have the submit button over here so we'll say over here input type it will be submit and here we'll say hello will be add and let's say over here class it will be btn btn primary so right now if we save this then if we now refresh here we have the add button over here so in order to upload this data i already just created table called post over here you can see post table and this table has title and the description field and i'd like to mention one more thing and that is for the post table uh, let me just go to database migration and the post table over here you can see so for the post table make sure that the description is description type is long text this one not normal string or anything else make sure it have long text so right now let's go and upload that data to the database table so for it inside this form first of all we'll say over here action uh we'll give to second bracket then we'll say here url to first bracket single quotation let's say over here upload underscore data 
and we also need to add the csrf token over here so right now let's go to our route and create this url so let's go to route then web.php and here we're going to say route double clone get fajra get single quotation slash and our route name was upload data copy this and i'll paste it over here then we'll say over here comma to third bracket we saw our here home controller our clone class comma let's say our function name will be upload okay so right now let's go to our home controller and here in the home controller we're going to say public function upload to first bracket first we'll say here request then dollar request and we will also give to second bracket over here so first of all in order to upload the data we need to first declare a variable let's say over here dollar post equal to we'll mention the table model name and which is new post model name is post and i also set the model name at the top over here as well so after this we'll say over here dollar post this arrow sign we'll say over here description equal to dollar request arrow sign and here if you go to welcome.blade.php here you can see name equal to edit data so instead of edit data let's over here description description so let's save this and let's go to home controller and we'll save our here request description after this we'll save our here dollar post this arrow sign save then we'll just return back to the same view return redirect back so let's save this so we have everything ready we have the input field over here then we have the url and we have the function over here as well to upload data so let's just refresh here and let me just copy something random from online let's come over here let me just copy this paste it here and let's make it different if we want like this then click add okay the post pattern is not supported for this route okay the thing is i obviously missed it in the web.php so this method will be post so let's save this again and right now if we now refresh here again here you can see there is no error and if we now refresh our browser over here here you can see you have some data in the description let me just show it again without error this time click add here you can see data, data is uploaded you can also make table over here with different kind of data over here okay so but the thing is right now if we just try to upload an image from this samano text field we'll get a error we have the image field over here we can choose any image from here but we need to write some code in our controller in order to upload the image so right now in order to upload the image what we need to do is that we we'll just directly go to the controller first and here first of all what we do is that before this dollar post equal to new post we'll just declare another variable we'll say over here dollar description equal to we'll say dollar request arrow sign description so after this i'm just going to copy and paste some code over here and don't worry i will also give that code in the comment section so that you'll be also be able to copy that code so here so i already have the code in the notepad this is total like 13 or 40 line of code so control a control c and don't worry i'll also explain this code over here as well so i'll just paste it over here so here after saying description equal to request description we are declaring another variable dom equal to new dom document we are calling this dom document function and after this uh, here you can see dollar dom equal to load html so from this here you can see description over here we need to write the same variable over here and here you can see from the description first of all we will load the html after that from that html here you can see dom equal to get element by tag name image file so we are basically trying to get the image file and store it in this variable and obviously there can be multiple image files so here you can we have for each loop image file as item image so first of all we'll get the image attribute source then we'll get the image total all type of data then we'll just decode the image we'll uh, give the image a uni unique name using the time function we'll also have stored the image path 
and first of all we'll remove the previous image source over here first of all we'll remove the previous image source and give the new image source and then here you can see we say it over here description equal to dom save html this description is basically this one uh, this one okay so we are saying dom save html so after this we'll just remove this dollar post description equal to request description to only dollar description which is basically this one okay so right now let's save this so right now we should be able to upload image from the summon node text field so let's refresh over here so right now let's just give some random text over here uh, I'll just paste some text over here and then let's choose the image from here. Let's choose this image, click open. And I would also like to mention one more thing is that there's a limit of how big the image size can be in summer note. Okay, so just make sure to remember this. Let's just also add a table over here. Okay, just random data. And now if I now click add, here you can see data, data is uploaded. So right now, if I now refresh our browser over here, so we are also able to upload the image to the database table. Now let's say we want to show those data in the browser. So how can we show those data? So, so in order to show that data, those data, let's just first create a view for showing data. So let's go to our web.php and let me just copy this, paste it here. And so the route will be get and it will be let's say show underscore data and the function name will be the same thing let's say show underscore data let's save this so right now let's go to our home controller and in this home controller we are going to say public function show underscore data to first bracket to second bracket so first of all we'll get all the data from the post table so we'll say over here dollar data dollar data equal to we'll say over here post our clone all then we'll just return the view let's say return view the view name will be post underscore data so we'll send the data from here let's say comma compact it will be data okay so right now let's go and create this view post underscore data so let's go to route views and here we'll say post underscore data dot blade dot php so control s and then save so here I'll say here HTML and inside the body we'll mention the for each loop. We saw it here at the rate of for each dollar data as dollar data. And we'll also in the for each loop we saw it here at the rate of int for each. So basically this data will come from here. Okay, this dollar data. And inside this, first of all, in order to print anything in Laravel, we need to give two second bracket, but over here we need to give on second bracket and for this not sign then we we'll saw here dollar data this arrow sign we we'll say here description so right now if we now save this we should be able to get the description data from here so right now let's just uh, let me just check the url name url name is show underscore data so i'll just paste this over here and there you can see we can see the data over here like this so yeah basically this is how you can use summonnet to upload data in laravel and also show data in laravel like this as well so i hope you like this tutorial if you have any question you can always let me know in the comment section if you want more tutorial like this then also then subscribe this channel i will also really appreciate that as well thanks again for watching i hope to see you in the future tutorials